welcome to Joan's Simple Paper Crafts. My name is Joan Heberlein, and I've pre-recorded this video for YouTube to be released on July 7th. If you're new here, I want to thank you for stopping by, and if you're a returning guest, welcome back. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. That way you won't miss when I post a video, which is typically once a week on a Wednesday. I'm so excited to show you what I've what I've been working on. I'm calling it On Wisconsin and I'm using the All for Baby bundle to make these cards and they turned out really cute. Let me show you. Here it is, Oh Wisconsin. Don't you just love it? I have the clothes hanging on the line and they each have a W on them to represent Wisconsin. And then inside we have our baby bib and it's stamped congratulations on your growing family. We used these stamps here and then the dies which made them easily to cut out. So I used all three of these and then I also used the, the clothes pins. So let's go ahead and get started. Leave that up there. So we've got our cardstock five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and I already have it scored as you can see there. And I'm just going to use my sconing tool. And I like to put it on both sides to get a nice crisp edge. And that's going to be our card base. Then next we want to put down our designer series paper. And we're going to use our multi-liquid glue and this paper has been discontinued as of June 30th um, but we have some new designer series paper so um, look at that so and I'm going to use this that comes in the the smaller bottle I just put this glue inside here because I like the smaller tip okay now it should work. Gives me a nice fine line. So it's less bubbles when I turn it over and press it onto the paper. I'm going to use my boning tool to help iron out the glue as well. And so I'm leaving an eighth of an inch round to leave a black border because Wisconsin colors are red, black, and white. And then we'll do the inside card. And of course, I don't have the stamp set up yet, so just give me a second. And it's going to be the congratulations on growing your family. And we're going to use a real red ink. And I'm going to move it off from this. So I just have it on our stamp pad here. And sorry if my head was in there. Perfect. And then we're going to also do the bib.
And I don't know if you notice, these are distinctive stamps. So one stamp gives you all that shading. And it did the same thing up here as well. One stamp did all of that shading. So I did it on red cardstock, the um, real red, and then I used Whisper White to get the, the shading here. And, oh, I need this out yet for one more. So let's do that real quick. And I'm just going to stamp off. Got to clean my stamp. And I need to get some more Stampin' Mist. It's almost out. So this is our Stampin' Scrub. Makes it real easy for cleaning your stamps. And then I missed on the left side. And if you can see here, there's little like raindrops, like so that's the mist. And then this side has a sun on, meaning to dry this out. And let me do this one as well. And then I'm going to just that off so that I can get our next stamp on there and that's going to be the little hands little feet big love and I'm just going to put it at the top of the Right toward the top. And pull it straight up. And it worked fine. Now I think I can close this up. I'm always worried about leaving a stamp open because that's asking for a disaster to happen. I'm just going to clean this off real quick. And then the last stamp is going to be the clothesline. And the clothesline, just want to take it and it's real floppy kind of has its own curve but you can make it be whatever type you want um, so i could make it almost straight but we'd like to have a little arc on it so i'm just going to play with it there that looks about right can't get it off my fingers it's stuck and then I'm just going to use this block to press it down. So I've got it on there and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to use soft or comb cake for the, the clothesline. Better use it this way so I can and bring it right down on to the card and pull it out. So I'm just going to drop it right there. And I should have had some paper underneath because I went off the edge. So let me just get my 
close this up first so we don't get any more ink anywhere. And I'm just going to use this real quick because it will come off from there if I use that very quickly. Okay, so now we have our inside card. So let's go ahead and attach that. And I'm going to use the glue again. And we've got a big glob there. Hopefully it won't cause a problem. going to lay it down again leaving one eighth of an inch of the black around the edge and then I always use my bone folder that gets out any excess glue flattens it out underneath Okay, and next we are going to want to attach is our clothes. So I'm going to pull out the clothes. I think we'll just dump it all right here. So we want to put a W on each of these items and we'll put the white one on the red and we put very little glue on here The same one on the red ones on the two other clothes. Okay, and then we'll attach those to the clothesline by just putting a little glue at the top. And I'm kind of rolling the bottom a little bit so that it will not, it looks like it's flying in the wind there.
Then we've got our clothes pins. Now I need to take my glasses off so I can see the details on there. So I want to make sure I'm doing it on the inside versus the outside so it's kind of rounded on this edge. So I'm going to flip it over and do it on the hollow side. And then just drop them on there. Easy peasy. And the next we will do is we'll put some dimensionals on the back side and we'll be done with this. I'm going to use my take your pick tool and just pull off these dimensionals. And I'll put one in each corner. over the edge there so I'll have to see if I can do some card magic I'll do some surgery on that in a second and I'm just going to pull these backings off And I'm just going to clip this little bit here off because I don't want it showing. And now I'm going to center this in the card, leaving about a quarter inch around the edge. And then this card's ready. So here's the other card, and it's with the teddy bear, and I just love how it works with the distinctive shading on there. Um, the background paper, or the designer series paper, is not Stampin' Ups, but everything else is Stampin' Ups. So I'm going to do that. Um, let me put it up here. So I'm going to first take this piece of Whisper White and, or Basic White, and try and stamp the teddy bear. Of course, I have one done already, so you won't have to take a lot of time. So if you look at it, you can see the shading already. So I am going to stamp off because I just want to make sure it's working right. Of course, that one worked fine. And I'm just going to put it on here. Perfect, I think. And it'll dry a little bit, so... Just one stamp gives you that teddy bear incomplete. And then, of course, I've got the die to cut it out. So I've already done that. So here's our teddy bear for, for this card. 
So what I have here, we're going to use Melon Mambo. And this is the latest designer series paper. Um, it's not Melon Mambo. I can't think of what it's called. It's one of the new colors, the in colors. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to put the, this out, that side out. So I'm going to go and put that on there first. Well, this side would be good too. I have trouble when they have two-sided designer series paper because I don't want to use, use it because it covers up one side. So now I'm going to put this down leaving an eighth of an inch around the edges of the Melon Mambo. Let me back up a bit. We cut a piece of whisper or of melon mambo four and a quarter by eleven, and we scored it at five and a half, and then we cut this half off right here. And that I used to do this this piece here. And this is not a Stampin' Up, but I believe they have um, stitched so sweetly is like a rectangle that has the scallops around it and that's what I was kind of looking for but I don't have that right now so I had to use something from another company and I will get that later on um, so then for the inside of the card we have a piece that's cut by four by five and a quarter and then down the middle, I did a very light score. And then I put it into our ornate, if I can find it, our ornate embossing folder. Let me show you how I set it in there. Because it was rather easy to line it up. So I put it in so that the base was down here where this line is. I made a, made it there and then I had that um, that score line, that very light score line was the center mark and I lined it up there so then I knew that it was square. It probably didn't really matter with this pattern um, other than the fact we wanted to have a straight line on it right there. We didn't want to have it Go all over the place so and then I just stamped the hello little one and the little heart so I'm going to glue this down and again we're going to leave an eighth of an inch around the edge And then I'm going to fold it over to the back side so that I'm not flattening the, that embossing, but I'm still flattening out the glue. So that'll make sure that it's stuck down tight. And then the next piece is we're going to want to glue is this one. And I have this cut at four and three quarters by three and a quarter. Um, no, four and three quarters by three and a half. So that just fits inside that scalloped border. And I'm just gonna glue it down flat. And that's just going to line it up right inside there. 
and I will use my bone folder just to make sure everything's flat. A little bit of glue, so I'm just wiping that off. Um, and next we want to put on is the bow tie onto our teddy bear. So I just stamped this out of Melon Mambo and then die cut it. There's a die for the little little guy. But I also used some of these mini dots that I got from Paper Pumpkin. They, were, they always give you a, a whole sheet of them and there's always some extra. So I'm using those on the bow tie because I don't want it to be raised up at all, really. So I thought those would work really well on there. And I'm just going to tuck it under his chin. And then I just put dimensionals on the back. I use this mini dimensionals. And then the big one I cut in half. And then the mini ones up here as well. But I've got a squeaky. My blocks are on the side of the table and it squeaks a lot. So I'm going to have to figure out something on that. But I'm just going to put this right here. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll put dimensionals on this half. So the side without the teddy bear is where we're going to put the dimensionals on the half portion so that um, it, we can just, it'll sit on there right. We don't want to have it all the way across because it'll stick to the base and then we won't be able to open the card and I am just going to do three on there and then just center it on the card Let me get this glue capped off so it doesn't dry out on me. So we've got our two teddy bear cards and our on Wisconsin cards. A nice little boy card, little girl card. This could be either one. Now if I just had somebody to send it to. No pressure to the family members that are watching. I hope you like these projects as much as I do. If you've enjoyed today's video, would you do me two favors? Click the thumbs up emoji, means you like it. And would you share it on social media with your crafting friends and pin it to Pinterest? These actions will help me to share my ideas with other crafters for free, and I'd really appreciate that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just reach out to me. If you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order or would like a catalog, hop over to my website where you'll find the Shop Now button. To shop with me, you'll need to go to joanheberline.stampinup.net. Before I go, I want to remind you of the specials going on right now. Designer Series Paper Sales, Stock Up and Save. 
We all love gorgeous designer series paper, and during this incredible sale, you can enjoy 15% discount on the select papers from our annual catalog. Now is a great time to stock up and save on some of our most popular paper designs. Sale runs until August 2nd. The next two items aren't a current promotion, but I just wanted to tell you we have a mini catalog coming August 3rd, and that is the July to December mini catalog. It's your passport to stunning seasonal projects. It contains all the products you'll need to craft, create, and celebrate during Halloween, Christmas, and more. Are you ready to celebrate? Celebration is one of our biggest promotions of the year. Are you ready to celebrate? During the celebration, you can earn exclusive products for free. For every $50 you spend, you can add a, your pick of a celebration product to the cart at no additional cost. Sale runs August 3rd through September 30th. Mark your calendar. I'll be back live Wednesday, July 14th at 7 p.m. Central Time for something from the new catalog. I hope you'll be here to join me. Thanks so much for being here with me, and I look forward to next week. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe.